Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a cool tone look from the Precious Metals palette, and I thought we'd go ahead and get started. Started off with the Super Goop Glow Oil, and this one has SPF of 50 in it. I uh, did go ahead and get the Revolution Skin Silk in F2, and I actually mixed that with a couple of different things. So I used the L'Oreal Lumi Lotion, and also the um, Soul, this is their Face and Body Bronzer and Fair, so I have all three of these on. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for cheeks today, started with the NYX Buttermilk Bronzer, and uh, this one is in Buttercup, and so it's the lightest one. It comes off pretty peachy, yeah, peachy look on me. And then, um, let's see, did do a combination. I used the Colourp or ColourPop uh, Sunset Strip. Uh, blush, and then I did go ahead and mix it with another color pop, color pop <clears throat> blush, and uh, this one's in Sounds Great, and so I had these two on today, and I did go ahead and mix those two, and then I did go ahead and um, use a couple of uh, highlighters as well, so I used um, Out of Quartz and Seismic. And Seismic actually has a little bit of glitter in it, so some people like it, some people don't like it. But I did go ahead and use that, and I also used a little bit of the um, Out of Quartz. It's actually a light pink. They, it's, yeah, it's a ColourPop Chic, um, but I always use it as highlighter instead of an um, actual blush. And then going ahead and moving on into well, I guess we can do this part first. Um, did go ahead and use the uh, ColourPop BFF2 liner, and then the So Juicy gloss, and this one's in Guava. So that's what I have on there. And that's the way that turned out. And I did go ahead and use Precious Metals for the eyeshadow look today. And Precious Metals is actually the 10-year anniversary. Again, ColourPop, uh, congratulations on 10 years. And these are the um, free gift with purchase, and it's a Super Shock shadow in a light gray. And so again, they're celebrating their 10 years of uh, being a company. And so what I did today was a cool tone look with this palette. The way that this palette works is that it has three columns of warm tones and then three columns of cool tones. And uh, there are a lot of repeat shades from other ColourPop palettes so that people like me who have big ColourPop collections and our palettes are getting older, some of them to the point where, you know, it's really not safe to be using them anymore. Um, a palette like this really helps because we can go ahead and replace some of the palettes. And um, an older palette that I have is Flutterby, and the look that I did is very similar the look that I got from the Precious Metals is very close to some of the looks I got from Flutterby. And again, this is just an older palette to me, so it's since it's a powder, I can probably get by with using it, but you know, why do that? Um, another one, Pretty Please, has a lot of that same color story, and so you can get a look like this from the Pretty Please palette as well. But again, a lot of us who have bigger ColourPop collections, and now our palettes are starting to get a little bit older, a palette like this is a really good idea because even though we don't get like the exact colors or the whole palette repeated, we can go ahead and get very similar looks. So what I did today was I went in and started with this one in the crease. And then I did both of these. Um, shimmer shadows on the lid and I actually added in some of this um, it's called tin is the name of the color and it's light silver and I added in that as well so I have about three different eyeshadows on the lids um, I did go ahead and use yeah this one right here right underneath the brow 
And then as far as an actual pop on the inner corner, let's go ahead and do this one. It's silver. I could have used a tin too to do that pop, but I did go ahead and use this one. And I think it's a really good idea that they did this as far as the free gift with purchase because ColourPop does have an iconic silver uh, shade that they put in a couple of different palettes. Um, have it in, let's see, have it in Aurora Struck. They definitely have one of their silver shades in this one. So this one, and they just do that silver formula so well. They also did a whole palette where they did um, Cloud Nine. This one has holographic silver in there. And if you like cool tone palettes and this is Cloud Nine, then uh, this silver shade over here is a holographic shade. And so it has like all the colors of the rainbow. It has sparkles in it, glitter in it that has all the colors of the rainbow. And that's basically what a holographic shade is. And it's very punchy. You can't miss them. Um, if you want to play around with holographic shadow, I would suggest getting this palette because a lot of the times they can be very expensive. Um, I've seen indie companies do holographic shadows anywhere from $18 to $40 for a single shade. So again, if that interests you and you want to go ahead and see what it's like, then I would definitely suggest going ahead and picking up this palette. But that silver shade, ColourPop does it really well. I think it's going to be one of their iconic shades. And they do a, a couple of different variations of it in different palettes. Blow and Smoke, their cool tone um, gray palette, it may have been renamed. Um, but it's the black palette. That one has a silver in there too. So anytime that you see a ColourPop silver, it's usually a really good shade. And um, loving this palette, I did go ahead and use an actual eyeliner instead of the palette, and that one seems to have run away. Oh, here it is. So uh, these are the yeah, these are the eyeliners that you can get off of Tin Tinu. They're private label. This one is Handy Yon, is the closest pronunciation I can get to it. Um, so I did go ahead and use this. Um, but this color, well, this eye look is so much, it, it's just wonderful to be able to go ahead and recreate some of the classic ColourPop looks, even though some of the palettes are now getting older. So um, yeah, that's the look. That's what I did today. Um, I think it turned out really fun. And um, I am just having a lot of good fun playing with this palette. And I would highly suggest it again for anybody, especially for people who have palettes that are starting to get older and still want to do those looks and want to have, you know, a palette that's current and hasn't expired and is good to go. So uh, that's the video, and I hope that you have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.